Guys, Ogs here, the sofa vlog from Kentucky. Today, we are going to KC Stadium in Hull City, where the Blues are meeting the Tigers. It's going to be a very tough game, but also a special day for Fikayo Tomori playing against his former club. Remember, he went there on loan and he did pretty good. Hopefully, he can score a golazo today, you know, because that's what Fikayo is all about, scoring golazos, right? I really wish he can score a goal today. Anyways, the starting 11 just came out and, uh, you know, not really surprising because Frank Lampard uh is going with experience you know i was expecting billy gilmore or other youngsters in the team but it looks like uh, frank lampa is taking this competition seriously and i didn't see any you know complaint online as usual and i always say it's a lose-lose situation the formation the starting 11 would be perfect if we win this game but if we lose we start asking questions why and why you know why this player didn't play why he did this and that so it is what it is what is mera is to win this game of football today my expectation for this uh, first half is that we go all for it okay from the get-go just let go and kill the game as soon as possible i am expecting michi bachuai to play a very calm and composed game of football because every time he plays he looks uh, like uh, he's in hurry you know he just want to score a goal and he doesn't care about the team and you have to understand that because he's a sub so every time he comes on he need to impress immediately so sometimes when he's given a chance like this to start the game his mindset is about being a sub so if he can stay calm compose he will have a very good game of football and i am expecting him to score today pedro also must have a good game of football because come on we are playing you know the championship side Hull city so you know there is no excuses even marcus alonso on the left i'm not even worried about uh, the starting 11 they have to do their job they are good enough to win this game come on chelsea don't let me down first half only one nil to the blues and i'm not happy about it yes you can tell me we controlled the game we had 70 percent possession and all that i don't care possession means nothing in football you have to score goals the goal from Bachuai was a lucky deflection. He didn't connect the, the, uh, with the ball properly. It was just a lucky deflection. And how many chances we missed? I don't know. And just imagine if uh, Hull City in the second half score a goal or two and win this game. It's going to be all the defense fault, right? But how many chances we, we didn't take? That's why Frank Lampard been saying over and over again that the problem is not mainly in the defense the problem is that we are not taking our chances so hopefully the second half we can uh, correct the situation and start scoring some goals the second half fikayo big fic saved us from disaster and i said it you know i tweeted i said um fikayo was going to score a golazo against his uh, former club and this happened exactly the way i said it you can trust me guys trust me with your money <laughs> anyways the same thing that i predicted happened exactly so i'm not gonna repeat everything that you already know but i have just to emphasize on certain things here okay we just escape from the jail because just imagine if uh, Fikayo didn't score that goal. So we have to def we have to depend on a defender to come and save us. 
how many chances we had to score goals. We didn't. Only Fikayo helped us today. But do you think we are going to do the same against uh, Bayern Munich or Leicester City or Man City or other games that are coming fast and thick? Guys, Frank Lampard need to spend money this window. We need at least three players. Okay? A left back, a midfielder that can score goals, probably a winger or somebody who can play as a winger and also as a second striker or just go for a striker. Man, just get somebody who can score goals. That's what we need at Chelsea Football Club at the moment. You know, um, Haston Adoy came off limping, uh, also Mason Mount limping, but you know if you don't buy players what are we gonna do in the future frank lampard need to stop the nonsense of saying oh i'm happy with the squad pedro i trust in pedro i trust in marcos alonso and blah blah stop it frank stop it maybe he's saying this for the camera but he knows deep inside that the squad is not good enough pedro can't help game in and game out we need some players and we need them right now guys let me know what you think about the game you know and if you think i'm speaking nonsense here just just say it in the comment but for me man this team is embarrassing and we need to fix it and fix it now we had a transfer ban now the transfer ban is lifted everything is lifted we have options to sign players Nothing they are doing. The club is not doing anything. I have been quiet all week. I have been quiet all month. I have not said anything. I have not said anything. Now it's time to say, spend some money. Spend some money. Spend some money. This is the money you have spent it. Spend the money. Spend the bloody money. Sign some plus. The score is not good enough. Not good enough. If you are not spending any money, if you are not taking any action, then we will not finish top four. If we finish top four, then it is by other team failure, not by our achievement.